Welcome everyone to another code therapy session here live on YouTube or private practice. Working theme here, I wish I could sit here and say everything is amazing. Look at that. I'm I just teen and oh it's so pretty. But yesterday we packaged Intel's Thunderbolt utils and I'm still in shock. I will further to yesterday's video where I immediately was irritated how to build it, right? Because normally you would be in the top level directory and you would build it, but our T2 build system said, nah, there is no build stuff, what to do, right? I read the freaking manual and it's like, okay, CDLib, fair enough. Um, and yesterday we already realized, wait a second, this instantly installs into the system, right? And I mean, having this hard coded and, and so on. This already was all low quality and non-standard, right? And I, I was, this already shocked me, right? But then I made the mistake and looked actually at the source code and it only continues. Turns out this is the least, this is the lowest quality code I've ever seen. And I'm really, I'm really sorry to say that if this would be an example program, I mean, this looks actually like a example program of someone in the second year of computer science. Actually, honestly, I would expect a computer university student at the end of the first year latest. I mean, most people, I would actually say you probably should already be able to do some programming when you go to university, but latest at the first year of the freshman year, you should produce better code than this. And that's, I would actually say it's not, not only the problem of C, certainly C is a problem, but this Thunderbolt utils really brings it to a new level. Because it turns out, so normally if you write, all the Unix tools, right? What this, this are Unix command line tools to get information of Thunderbolt devices or USB 4, like PCI utils and lib USB, uh, USB utils. And it should mostly just query some files and ZFS or debug FS and so on and list this output, right? But they made here completely, as this, this, I'm, I've only seen such stuff of code unliterate hobbyists like on who who are not professional coding and write some example program on a raspberry pi like for home automation stuff right you know some like eev vlog doing some temperature sensor program or solar solar data like if like if an electrician gets a little bit in coding it's forgivable right but this is how this code looks like and these are supposed to be the intel Thunderbolt utilities, right? Because what this code is doing, it's constantly running bloody shell scripting to tools, right? This is basically, um, if for example, let's get total like static U8, get total ADPS debug FS, and like normally you would open in, in C, you would use the C function open, and yes, it is annoying in C, I wouldn't write it in C, but they have written it in C, but the problem is they don't have, they have not written it in C, they have written it in C like shell scripting of running, like you're not freaking doing this, right? This is not proper programming. And the next thing is, so not only this, this is completely non-standard, right? Normally you would open slash dev, sysfs and whatnot, but no, they ls here some stuff, right? They, they program it. I mean, no, maybe I should as a educational experience, which I would recommend for all of you to do, um, read some old Unix code, but I would hope that the original Unix code written by all the original Unix folks and stuff would never have done stuff like this. Like, for example, like make file system or mount or whatever, right? Um, or I mean, anything, maybe I should study. I mean, I would, I would really surprised if even in the seventies, they would have done nonsense like this, probably like the original computer science people, they would have pulled the hero out when, I mean, literally I'm, I want to smash my precious keyboard into my head. Um, this, this is so sad, right? And the problem is I constantly see bugs and security issues and then Intel comes and maybe it's not Intel management improved and someone has done it as a hobby and stuff, but then it shouldn't be advertised like, hey, Intel releases Thunderbolt util utilities. It's like, and if the next person looks at it, he, I, I literally fall from, I, I, like I need quality office chairs not to fall off here, right? Um, in, in disbelief. Um, and the next thing is this function. So they LS here some stuff and grab port is like, okay, I get it. I mean, 
uh, sure, you could say the problem is see like, hey, René, okay, look, this this person, which we do not want to like the, the Intel team who did this, they probably figured, okay, parsing stuff in C is difficult and full of pointer arithmetic and in buffer under and overruns. Let's do it in shell code. But that's not how you program in C. Then you could have written it in shell code. Like we do our T2 Linux here, right? Don't delay. Certainly try stuff like our amazing T2 Linux today. Um, at least we script all our package building stuff naturally in shell scripting. But running snippets of shell scripting in your Unix low-level PCI slash Thunderbolt slash USB 4 control stuff, it's like... Like you, you had you had one job, and that that wasn't it. That it's like where is your quality control? And the problem is, if this is a programmer, I I don't know if I I maybe I should have googled their name and stuff. But it's it's not about shaming a single person. It is about discussing that this is not how it's done, and if this would be some hobbyist product of some let's say someone is interested in the Raspberry Pi and they fill a little bit around as a hobby on Saturday then it would be fine, right? But this is released by Intel. And you would expect, maybe it's still a hobby project, but even if it's a hobby project, maybe they should ask a colleague or friend or staff to look over their code and peer review it before releasing it to the public. But I mean, maybe they have, but then they have a bigger problem of at least two people who peer reviewed it, who have no clue who to write low level Unix code in C. And if C sucks, hey, then do it in Rust. Like if you like if you want to, if it's your 20% hobby project and C sucks for parsing files, then write it in Rust. Then then learn Rust and, and do it in Rust and not in shell scripting in C. The crazier thing is, you will not believe they run it to switch command to root, um, which is I believe here. Did I probably that? Which command to root? I should search that differently. Switch. Um, somehow we switch command. I had this uh, a little bit earlier. Not all of this and end of line. Okay, maybe it's not here. It was. Did I not hit? Um, okay, let's grab this again. Let's know what it was for sure. May, I, mean, I guess it was it was utils. That's what it was. Switch command here. So they have this like you see this. They do this a couple of times, right? And like they run this through sudo. It's like like you you. Who the heck is doing that? They run this through sudo for that normal user, I mean, hey, this is, this is not how you are doing it. You write one tool that does this stuff and if you don't have permissions, then you sudo the bloody tool, but you don't 20 times run sudo in your bloody, I mean, do PCI utils do it? I mean, maybe I should actually extract them. Next, coming up next on this channel, let's extract the PCI utils and use B utils code and also evaluate it. I would, I, I really hope though I don't see the same anti-pattern in there too. I have, it's like my, my Unix hairs are like, ah, it's like, ah, I'm, I'm so in, in shock. And then it's, I don't know, is it the job? I mean, maybe, maybe it's not the job of news sites because it's on, on some Linux news sites of like, hey, Intel release a Thunderbolt utilities is like, and I'm here like, yeah, but have you looked into them? Okay, but fair enough, Linux news sites are not professional code reviewers and it's like if Intel announces something, then it's, it's probably the Intel announcement. Like, pff, boy, um, I have, I, I'm shocked, right? I'm like nearly 24 hours later and I'm still like, I need, I need, I need, I need coffee. It's, uh, I, I should not drop into my freshly cleaned Sun Unix keyboard, so. It goes, boy, that took 45 minutes to completely clean. Um, but there is more. Um, I somewhere found, also, coming back to the build system, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. I mean, even this is backwards, right? The, the executable tools are in lib, and the lib, the partially the lib stuff is like, like, 
even that, I mean, not only that it's unintuitive and also non-standard to enter a lib directory, it's even the, the bloody command line tool is even in lib. Like, like it, it's like even the sorting is nonsensical, right? I mean, I understand it's the beginning, but then put the lib stuff in lib and not the ls tbt stuff in in, in lib. It's like uh, you, you didn't have like five minutes to sort this in like and then also the make file would be top level and I'm uh, but coming back to code right there is more there, I would not have I mean this is all silly enough right this is all crazy and like if there still would be SGI Irix or Sun Solaris they would be laughing their ass off right imagine it's like other competitors they would like if they would see this they would like ha ha hello and look at those linux programmers uh, look at their shabby code there is like they can't even write a command line utility uh, in in some quality way i mean the only saving grace for those developers is like hey there is no sgi rx or <laughs> sun solaris anymore um or abm iaix or any of the other sco there but there is more i had your files um i should probably maybe pass through i looked a little bit in, and so a lot of this stuff is just, I mean, querying t at times with ls and stuff. Um, debug ss, uh, debug fs, and sysfs files. But often they don't even properly check return codes, right? Um, I saw your places where maybe often, let's see, sometimes they open stuff. Yeah, for example, here. They don't properly, like, vfio al like uh, VFIO, uh, HL, VL, what even stand, what, whatever it stands for, params, ah, right, oh, this is a, the params, uh, v, v, VFIO, dev init, um, and they open that here, dev uh, VFIO, VFIO, like, hey, they don't run sudo bash here, right? <laughs> Achievement unlocked, you found the open system call, but they don't check the bloody return value, right? I mean, okay. So, so normally you would like it maybe it's not there right and then you would like error hey i couldn't open it right but say straight continue to issue an io control system call here on this container file descriptor and sure if there is an error and the return value should probably should be negative this still will fail but this is not the proper way to do it, right? You can't, sure. I mean, in this case, usually nothing but probably should have happened. Also like quotes or a, a star, like implementation details, um, undefined implementation details may, may vary, but that's not how you do it, right? Um, you also don't get, the other problem is, except maybe someone copies it to other stuff or like also it's also i mean besides that's not the right thing to do you hide the error code right so for example also they just return here null right so they also don't properly inform the user like hey this thing doesn't exist right you, you don't have vfio uh, kernel module loaded or enabled or supported or whatnot they just return null right so this is so not only not checking the error code they're also not issuing any helpful return value, I mean, okay, this thing does not uh, return it. And so maybe, yes, you could always argue, but hey, René, do you not know C sucks? Yes, I know C sucks. This is why in general, I don't prefer C, but at least I master C on a 99% percentile completeness level. This is also why usually C stuff would probably return an integer. Yes, it sucks and all and details and whatnot, but hey, maybe return an int and directly return the error code so that the calling function can actually issue a helpful diagnostic of like, hey, file doesn't exist, you don't have VFIO. Um, because all they return then if this, what they just continue to run on it, um, doesn't work. Oh, and by the way, um, probably ask other high quality Linux higher, just look at Linux and Apple tutorials. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this.